hey guys if you're new to my channel then welcome or welcome back so i decided to poke my head into my local dollar tree this weekend to pick up some essentials and i feel like i struck gold so if you want to see what all the excitement is about and what i was able to score this time around all you have to do is keep right on watching So this is in no particular order, but out of convenience, I'm going to go for the stuff that's right in front of me, which is the bulk of it. And so, for example, I'm going to start with this uh, unsweetened almond milk, this original almond milk. And I've seen almond milk at my Dollar Trees before, but it's usually the sweetened almond or the vanilla almond. And because I'm watching my sugar intake these days, uh, unsweetened was a happy, uh, pleasant surprise for me. And this is in a 30 32 full ounce uh, container and this doesn't expire until November of this year so this will be gone before then and I picked up two containers of it and I was very happy about that. Another happy surprise was this Philadelphia brand cream cheese and this is in a seven and a half ounce size. It's a pretty big decent sized tub and this is a whipped cream cheese with mixed berries and this doesn't expire until June of this year this will be gone long before then and this is a huge tub guys i've never seen philly brand uh cream cheese at the dollar tree before there was only one left or else i would have grabbed more so i picked that up another happy surprise with this russell stover sugar-free uh thin mints these are kind of like the the thin mints but they're sugar-free and like the girl scout brand and I like them for a treat every now and again. They're not the healthiest for me, but for a treat, I pick them up once in a while. Grab some Supreme's Traditions black pepper as well as their garlic powder. And this is a two ounce and a two and a half ounce. Uh, this is about the only stuff I pick up as far as their spices. This and the cinnamon. And I love it. I have no problem with it. I pick it up whenever I see it. Dollar Tree has been stepping up their game with their in the greenery department. So I picked up, it's just called uh, Greenery Bouquet. That's what they're labeled as. And I picked up two of these with that uh, wide um, stem. I forgot the name of these, but I like them because they look almost, you know, authentic to the real thing. Then I also picked up these. They kind of look like palm leaves. And I only found two as well. So I grabbed two and then i fell in love with these these are just um let me see they're called wildflowers but i like the greenery that they have on it and that bright yellow the little buds i really like them so i thought they would pair off well with these and these are called um foxtail and so i figured i would pair the foxtail off with that and make a little arrangement using this and use some of this greenery next i found two of these little uh they're called rugs but they honestly they look like uh placemats to me but i bought them with a totally different idea in mind because these can be used for numerous things. I've seen people make pillows out of them, which is probably what I'm going to be doing, where they connect both pieces together and stuff it with batting or a pillow insert and turn it into a pillow. And this is giving off all those bohemian vibes. So I grabbed two of them for a project. And I'm sorry that this uh, haul is all over the place, but I warned you that it, nothing was really in order. So next up, I grabbed a pack of these Shore Fresh um, portion snack uh, zip and seal bags. And uh, these come with 38 bags uh, per box. And they're the kind that have the uh, portion control, which is awesome for like nuts and berries and stuff if you're trying to watch your portion intake. So I grabbed a box of those. And then the only um, decor sign that I picked up this time around was this little cutting board because I think I just about have them all. And honestly, um, they don't really go with my color scheme and I usually just grab them to make them over. So I was kind of looking for something that I could just leave as is and not really have to make it over for a change. And this was about the only thing that jumped out at me because I think I'm going to leave this just as is. I think it has that 
vintage farmhouse vibe to it and it's it's neutral enough that i can you know display it with my decor so i grabbed just the one they had another variation of this with like easter eggs and a basket but it was too pastel -y for me so i passed on that Grab the box of these extra in wash color absorbers and it says it's a bonus pack 10 plus two more so you get 12 sheets in this box and this just to keep you know the your clothes from getting ruined in case they bleed I've purchased that before it's a repeat purchase and I like it then I grabbed these two little hanging uh lids and there's they pretty much fit most all uh mason jars i'm assuming and so you just could hang them like that so i got a project in mind to do with these so i grabbed these two they have the little chain on them i also grabbed this little sponge holder because i needed it my sponge is always floating around the sink and it's got a mind of its own so i needed to get one of these to contain my sponge then I grabbed two of these organizers. I only found the two in this color or else I would have grabbed more. And these are awesome because I noticed that they have a little compartment inside. So this is awesome. You can put your dip inside here. You can put your ranch, your carrots, your celery. You can put your nuts or whatever you want to put in here to keep it uh, separate. So I thought this was awesome, especially for the summertime picnics and whatever. And so I grabbed two of these and I'm happy about that. Then I found these two sheer crystal uh, foam protector cases, which I thought were really awesome. It says they have a 10 foot drop protection and this is for the iPhone at XS at max. And so I picked up two. This is not a green briar product and so it has a lifetime warranty for a buck you cannot touch this any place else these things are hella expensive at any of the uh, electronic stores or what have you like best buy and stuff so i grabbed these two because you could always use them in gift baskets and such as well then i found some of this dr sheffield sensitive care toothpaste and what intrigued me about this toothpaste was that it says he was the inventor of toothpaste and toothpaste in a tube since 1850 i figured if this product has been around since 1850 why the hell not and for a buck you can't complain so i picked up two tubes also grabbed some of these wooden shapes from the easter decor section and it's just the color your own ornament i got the little bunnies and the carrots to do something creative with that and then they had a ton of different color of cotton twine the one i was really looking for was the red and white uh candy stripe one but that seems to be a hot commodity these days and it goes really quick so i figured i grabbed some solid black because you can't go wrong with black and who doesn't need black uh twine in their arsenal grabbed another hot wheels car i try to pick one up every time i see something different and this time around i seen that this says it's new for 20 2020 so they just made this one last year and it has a reptile dinosaur on it or what have you and i grabbed that one picked up some fix all adhesive i love this stuff it's a super glue that's very comparable to e6000 with and it's much less offensive in terms of the odor it has no strong odor at all and it works really really good especially in conjunction with your hot glue gun it keeps the projects nice and secure Next up, I struck gold in the makeup department with the hard candy makeup. I just went crazy. And so first, this is not hard candy. It's from Sassy and Chic, but it's a mini eyelash curler. And I was intrigued. I have a couple of eyelash curlers, but they're the ones that are like, you know, scissors. And this one kind of just intrigued me because it's portable. It's mini and I can uh, stick it in my purse. So I picked that up. So now let's, oh, and the other thing that's not hard candy. Also grab this little trinket tray that just says queen with a little B on it. And it looks like a little quotation mark with this little uh, edging around it. And it's perfect for like rings, jewelry, whatever. Sit it by the sink or in your bathroom, in your room. 
So then, like I said, I hit the mother load with the hard candy. So to start, and I'm going to try to go quickly because it's a lot, I picked up two variations of their setting spray, and they both say 12-hour long wear on it, but this one is a hydration formula and this one is anti-pollution so i picked up one of each so i thought that was a cool find at a buck then i grabbed two of these long wear 12 hour liquid uh primers as well this is just the tube of the face primer and they're the 12 hour protection and i grabbed two of those as well as one of these uh bold and soft uh vo volume plus says it's ginormous biggest fan mascara volume plus fan effect and it's in black is black so we'll see about that i like that one so we'll give it a try and another primer i found is this one for sensitive skin this one says it's oil free and silicone free which is always a good thing too and mind you this is not a dollar tree um brand guys this is hard candy they sell this in uh target walmart marshall's and all those stores grab two of their liquid eyeliners which i thought was a neat find as well and this one is in the color ba uh, black to basic so i'm so assuming that it's black it kind of threw me off because sometimes you think that the color of the packaging is the color that's inside but it says here black to basic so i'm gonna give that one a shot then this little eyeliner was giving me the uh saint patty's day vibes because it's this nice green it says it's a long wear eyeliner and so i decided to pick it up it was the only one there sitting there waiting for me so i grabbed it grabbed two of these cushion soft matte cream lipsticks so we're gonna go ahead and open one up and give it a swatch and so this is what it looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and give it a swatch and this is the color i guess it's very comparable to the color that's on the packaging and it's pretty good pretty decent i guess you got to give it a chance to dry it says it's matte so it's definitely not glossy i don't see any shine in it at all and so i picked up two they're both the same color one and one for a backup so i thought that was a good deal and last but not least i picked up these two hard candy uh soft eye pencils this is for like the waterline this is not a liquid eyeliner it's just i guess for like the waterline under your eye so i grabbed these two and i feel like i struck gold and hit the mother load of the hard candy makeups at dollar tree i hope you enjoyed this haul i hope if you decide to go out and check your dollar trees you're just as successful as i was and finding all of these items and until my next haul guys i'll meet you back here on this channel love you guys talk to you soon